Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This is a short video as a follow on from the four channel model setup I did uh, recently, which shows you how to set the widgets up on your main screen of your Jumper T16 so that you can add a timer, the timer value, the picture of your model, and also on the front, I also put the where the throttle position is. Let's take a look at the widgets on the Jumper T16. Okay, let's power this one up. Okay, so this is our standard screen. So now we want to adjust that and add some things onto it. Now, the way we do this to enter the uh, edit mode for the screen, we have to hit the tell button at the bottom and hold it down. Then we can select which type of screen we want up at the top here by scrolling. Now, I, I do like the three uh, screen option, the second one, so we'll leave it on that. Now, I also personally don't want the sliders on there. So we scroll down and then hit the button. So if you see it highlights the square, you can turn it back on or turn it off. Now, if we push return, you'll see these bars have disappeared. I'm going to leave the trim tabs in because they're useful for a fixed wing, but if it was a quadcopter, obviously I would take those away. Okay, let's hit the tail button again. And then we are going to select now the widgets. So we scroll down, push the scroll, the scroll button. Now it's highlighting with a red mark. The other ones are, are, are dashes. So this one is the one we're editing. And then you push the scroll button and then say select widget. So this one actually I do like, but we've got several options in there. We can put all the outputs in there, uh, a text label, the timer, the rudder value, and a battery check. I'm not sure, quite sure where the battery check comes from, so I'm going to have a look into that. And timer two and a countdown. So I don't particularly want any of those. I actually want the one that was there, is this one. Now, obviously the picture didn't show up. Now the reason is, is we need to add the picture to that particular model. So if we push return, 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 and then go into our model, and then scroll down one, you'll see model image. So if we click the uh, scroll button and we can scroll down to and there it is the cheetah now it will turn return and you'll see now the model picture uh, displays on the front screen okay but let's carry on uh, editing the screen we go to tell hold that down and scroll down once to go to select widgets click now we can scroll across and you'll see now that one's highlighted now what i put in there is i click so we can now choose the same options that went in the big window. We are going to, well, I am going to put, you'll be able to put whatever you like, the timer. And then say timer one, okay, and enter. And now there's your timer. Now we scroll again, we can go to the next widget box. Push the scroll button. Now we can put a gauge in there. Let's do that. And this time I'm going to change it not from, from rudder to the only one I think would be interesting is actually the control of the throttle. So push OK, enter, and then enter, enter, enter. And now my screen is set up. So if I put the throttle forward, it will display in here what percentage the throttle's at. And you can see the timer going. If I chop the throttle, reset, it will reset the timer. So that's the basics I put in on the front screen of my fixed wings. And I hope you, that you found that useful. Thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. And please share this video with your friends. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below because I would really love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.